Here we are with um, Jason Cohen, the uh, art uh, auctioneer on the uh, Princess. He, we're going to ask him a few questions. Oh, just by the way, he's from uh, Toronto, Canada. And uh, just welcome, uh, Jason. Hi, Jay. Perhaps you could uh, let us know what the differences between a, a G clay and a G clay print that's been embellished, uh, and then the original, and how they compare uh, when they come up to auction. Uh, G clays have become probably one of the most popular ways for an artist to replicate an original painting. It is in fact the most faithful way of replicating an original painting. Uh, many artists that we have dealt uh, with the Princess Fine Arts program have uh, used lithographs, serographs, etchings, and giclés. So uh, giclés, the process will combine approximately $50,000 worth, uh, worth of electronic equipment in order to actually replicate a painting that already exists. Firstly, it involves scanning an original painting in about a $25,000 scanner, and then it would print the piece off through uh, through a printer, a very sophisticated printer, that would be about twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars in value in order to create it. So some artists will release she clays that they do enhance, and some release them when they don't enhance. Typically, if it's not enhanced, it will usually have a little bit lesser value than something that is enhanced. One of our most popular artists with our program is uh, an American landscape painter by the name of Howard Barnes, known for his palette knife technique and very vibrant coloring. So what he likes to do for our collectors here at Princess is once he creates his giclés based on an original that has already existed in the past, he will then add some paint to it and that will give the impression that you are looking at an original painting, however it's not the price tag of an original painting. Uh, the artist then signs them and they are done in limited editions. So in this case it's 195, so they would make 195 pieces and that would be all that they would be allowed to do. So he'll paint over 195 pieces and then we of course frame them and offer them for auction. So a piece that you're looking at here uh, from the Med Villages series, we would have a starting price of let's say uh, 1350 Now naturally if it were an original canvas, such as the work that you see here depicting uh, Giverny Monet's garden that would be about seventeen thousand dollars so again you're getting probably more vivid and vibrant coloring naturally off an original and you have the satisfaction of knowing that you're the only one who could really enjoy the experience of that original and that's what you're paying for is that exclusivity so naturally many collectors uh, who if they can would like to get an original of this type of caliber uh, because the artist doesn't produce uh, quite that many uh, throughout his career thanks Jay